Hey guys, Susan Thomas here with Jewel School. Welcome to my studio. Today, I want to talk to you about sawing. Sawing 101, take one. So, sometimes when you're cutting metals, it's really easy. You're just cutting a square shape and you have a nice light metal like a 26 gauge and all you have to do is just get a shear and start cutting. Other times, you want to get a little bit more fancy. Like maybe you want to make a freeform heart or a flower and guess what? You get those shears out and the first thing you do is you mess up your piece. Huh? <gasps> What's a girl to do? <laughs> well, my thought is you might want to learn how to use a saw. Okay, so this is just a standard saw frame and you can see there's different uh, adjustment screws here, here, and here. And those all have to do with how your saw works. This piece can be lengthened or shortened by unscrewing this here. And so you can see that you can get any length you want, really. I generally keep mine about that length with about an inch and a half coming down out of the bottom. I feel like it gives me the best control. So you just tighten that up and this piece is sturdy. Now here is where the magic happens. This is where your saw blade goes. So in order to put your saw blade in, you have to open up these sections. See how that closes and opens? That's where it goes. And you wanna open it up on both sides. When you're putting your saw blade in, you always wanna make sure that when you take your finger and run your finger up the blade, that those little teeth are facing downward. So you actually feel the roughness on your blade when you go up and down like this. And these aren't super, they're, they're sharp, but they're not gonna cut you if you do that. All right, now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it into the bottom and I'm just gonna tighten that up, making sure that my blade is on the outside. Like so, boom. All right, now just feel that and make sure that it's on the outside. And now I'm going to put the top part of the blade in here. But in order to get a good tension, I'm gonna put some pressure on my handle and then fit the blade into those two little plates and tighten and let go. And then when I do that, you can see that my blade is nice and tight. All right, so the great thing about sawing is that you're able to get into tight corners and go around curves really easily. Whereas with my, my shear, it's really difficult to get a nice cut and also a flat cut. Your metal will tend to roll and then you'll have a really difficult time getting into that tight space right there. So with your saw blade, you're really gonna be able to get close in with those little corners and get right around the curves that you drew. So this is just a free form heart that I drew on my metal that I'm gonna cut out with my saw blade. And this is my bench pin right here and it's great to have a bench pin. If you have a bench pin, you'll have a lot easier time sawing. It just makes it easier uh, to hold on to your metal and it gives you a place to, to make everything steady while still being able to grab underneath and get some air out here. All right, when you first start sawing, you actually have to put a little groove into your metal to get started. And that can be the hardest part. A lot of people think, oh gosh, I'm never gonna be able to saw because I can't get started. So just take your saw and put it at a slight angle and start sawing very, very lightly. Until you get a little groove right where you want it. All right, now see, I've got a little groove there, and so now I can start sawing. And you can see I didn't put a lot of pressure on the blade. If you put a lot of pressure on the blade, you will not be successful. I find that when I saw, I, I like to have a little bit of an angle to my saw. You can see it's not perpendicular. It's not up and down. I just have a little bit of an angle, and I have better success. So the trick is when you're sawing to do short, fast strokes. So here I'm just going to get started. And I'm just going to start sawing along the edge of my heart. Now, you can see it right here, I've already gotten about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so here's the trick. When you get to a corner like this, this is where the saw is really, really handy. and makes it so much easier because you can get beautiful corners. So I'm just gonna really, really lightly saw while very gently turning my metal because you don't wanna go too far through the metal, but you wanna allow the saw to turn the corner. So you see I'm gently sawing while I turn my metal, just like so. And it kind of makes just a little bit larger hole so that you can turn and then when you're ready you can just 
start sawing in the other direction. Easy peasy.